What's up my peeps? It's the Ruckus here, back at you again with another action figure review, this time courtesy of Hasbro Marvel Legends. In this go round, we have from Into the Spider-Verse, we have Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. Yes indeed, we've got them in that uh, new style packaging and uh, strangely enough, this new style packaging which is uh, plastic free this might be the first I'll have to look to see if I just overlooked it on other uh, packaging this may be the first one that does not have the plastic free uh, logo or, or uh, symbol stick or whatever it was at the bottom there maybe they figured they put out enough that uh, we we get the point so that might be it so anyway we've got uh, We've got digital renders of uh, both characters on the front there, as well as the uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse logo down below. You see Spider-Man Noir uh, and Spider-Ham at the top there. So getting them out of the way for now, for the time being, let's look at what else we have with this box. We've got uh, some artwork of uh, Spidey Noir and Spidey-Ham on one side. On the other, we've got uh, digital renders of uh, both uh, characters there. And then on the back, we've got more digital renders of the characters. And uh, that's about the size of it with that. We no longer get the read-ups like we used to. The top, we've got uh, a uh, Spidey Noir logo. And on the bottom, the legalese. So, that's about the size of it. Without further ado, let's get these two out of their packaging. So here we have both Spidey Ham and Spidey Noir out of packaging on our rotating base. And you can see them uh, doing their 360 degree visual. So we could see, uh, take in what, we, what we're going to be looking at. And uh, while they're spinning around, you could do me a solid and go down below and hit that like button. And while you're down there, smash on that subscribe button so we can uh, continue to keep this channel moving and uh, while these two are uh, getting dizzy we're going to uh, peep out the accessories of which there are only two starting with this uh, alternate head sculpt for Spider-Man Noir he came out of uh, packaging with the head sculpt that has the uh, the hat on it and uh, that hat is part of the head sculpt and as you can see he's got a head sculpt that uh, is uh, you know no hat on it so you've got uh, it's, it's since it's supposed to be like a noir style it's only going to be in black and white so the only paint apps you're going to get will be and I don't I think they're more of like stickies on there they are on the uh, his lenses uh, he still has some nice uh, nice line work there's some paint on that to uh, show the uh, the webbing on the line work there so that's pretty cool um, other than that all you have is uh, right there at the top there so yep yeah, still pretty nice head sculpt the uh, only other thing that uh, comes with as far as accessories is this uh, this uh, hand weapon which uh, really looks like an old school it looks like a Luger almost to me I'm not really up on my weapons but uh, I don't think it's a Luger that's a, uh, a German weapon but uh, this definitely looks like uh, a firearm from the uh, you know the early days 1920s through the 1940s so here we have spider-man noir and spider ham standing right before you and uh, it's still amazing to me that they uh, meaning hasbro had the audacity to uh technically count the spider ham statue which is really all it is prop as a figure and like this is some kind of two-pack but um i guess they had to uh give the uh the pig some love and uh, speaking of giving them some love, that's who we're going to uh, start uh, off with. This will be quick. So looking at our uh, Spider-Ham statue, because that's really all it is, is a statue. You can see uh, he's in a, uh, a, uh, a, 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 you know, like he's some sort of big shot type of pose. He's commanding attention, whatever, but, um, this is actually the same statue that we have gotten previously 
with uh, Into the Spider-Verse uh, Spider-Gwen and that would be this right here and as you can see same exact same exact statue just the uh, paint apps are different the uh, the Spider-Man Noir version is uh, the, um, the red is a little bit more vibrant as well as the blue is uh, darker and uh, ha it has a sheen to it so that's about it other than that um, you know everything else is more or less the same so you got that for uh, a quick comparison but uh, once again there's nothing else really different it's, that's all it is Spider-Man Noir on the other hand is a bona fide figure and uh, taken right from the uh, into the Spider-Verse uh, animated movie so um, as I stated before his uh, this sculpt uh, um, his head sculpt that comes right out of the packaging with the uh, the hat on he's got his uh, his brim and uh, it's looking uh, pretty slick there the only other Spider-Man Noir we've gotten was uh, from the uh, comic version of uh, Into the Spider-Verse and he didn't come with a hat at all which you know to me made zero sense the, it, you know the hat wasn't even like something that he just decided to add on that that's part of him and uh, Hasbro neglected to give us a hat but anyway enough about that let's talk about uh, our uh, Into the Spider-Verse uh, version of uh, Spider-Man Noir here. So he's got this overcoat, uh, trench coat, and you see that uh, the uh, collar, big time collar is flared up there. There's going to be zero paint outside of um, this buckle and right here. That's about it. That's all you'll get in terms of paint, but that's no fault of Hasbro. The character is just black and white from a black and white universe. So uh, he's got some Texture there wearing a, a, a uh, I don't know if you can actually see it, but he's got a uh, he's wearing a turtleneck in there. I think there you go, you can see it that way. And uh, they made sure that they gave it the, the texture so it looks like a turtleneck, but of course, it's not going to be any uh, other color to it. You've got texture along the uh, the shoulder area of uh, the, the coat, so you've got that. There's texture on the brim, too, if you can see that. And uh, you've got uh, you got detail on that belt, but that's about all you're gonna get. Once again, through no fault of Hasbro, we can't even get on them about it this time. And uh, looking at the uh, overcoat, the uh, the belt for the overcoat is actually a separate piece that uh, appears to have been glued on. So you've got that. It it does flare out, and I know that's going to prove uh, problematic, especially for you when it comes to displaying because this just makes uh, Spidey Noir take up more space it's like the space of three characters for the price of one going down he still has more of that texture above the knees so looking pretty uh, cool there and then of course his boots they're molded in a different type of uh, different color black a shiny black plastic so that's what you have there and uh, on the back for the whole figure you really get nothing so that's what the size of that is as far as articulation goes his head is on a uh, dumbbell um, he can't really go back with this with this uh, head sculpt on because the hat uh, bumps into the um, flared up collar we'll see uh, what that does with uh, his other head sculpt he can look down he gives you all kind of attitude and there's something in that neck there so that's pretty cool there as far as his arms he can get it up to 90 he can 360 it he's got a bicep swivel he's got double jointed pinless elbows he's got wrist swivel and a horizontal hinge uh, and that's on uh, both both uh, arms it's amazing that there's no other um, no other accessories that's just uh that's wild to me but it is what it is his ab crunch he can go forward that much 
he can go back but once again the trench coat is going to get in the way you'll just have to force issue but he can go back so that's pretty cool he's got a waist swivel he can do the splits that much he can get his leg forward almost almost 90 he can go back but once again that trench is going to impede he's got the uh, thigh cut right there he's got double jointed uh, pinless knees he can point his toe that far forward not up so much he does have ankle pivot and of course he's got holes peg holes at the bottom of his feet spider-man noir does come with a pull uh, a holster that is uh, located on his right side and of course with his weapon it fits in like that it, it fits in way deep that's kind of too deep uh, the uh, holster should have been a little bit smaller than that as for that other head sculpt This is what it looks like on him and as I suspected without the hat you can get the head to move up some Not much because once again the collar is still interfering, but because the hat isn't there It's not bumping right at the top so you get some of him looking up So that's pretty cool and I also discovered when I changed the head sculpt that that turtleneck piece is loose you could actually take it off if you wanted to and here's our spider-man noir into the spider-verse version movie version next to the spider-man noir into the spider-verse comic version and uh yes you do see that uh my uh comic version is sporting a hat and this is actually a uh third party custom so uh had to get that because you just don't want uh spidey spidey noir uh, uh is like he's naked without his hat so got to have that so sticking that back on his head there you have it spider-man noir since spider ham deserves his own love his his comparison with spider ham from the uh comics and uh, yes, if you guys didn't already know, Hasbro had the audacity to uh, have this guy as a uh, single pack release. Can you imagine with the way prices are now that they do that? But then again, they, they actually do something similar with that at today's prices. Uh, if you go to the Star Wars The Black Series line, they're doing that with uh, Grogu. And I'm sure all of you guys know how small he is. So it wouldn't surprise me if they did it again. And here we have the Into the Spider-Verse group shot. You've got Peter B. Parker all the way in the back there sipping on his soft drink. You've got the Prowler, Spider-Gwen, and of course Miles Morales himself. I wonder if we'll get any more figures. I know everybody wants to get... Uh, uh, SP, uh, uh, what is it? SPDR, yeah, SPDR or SP forward slash forward slash DR or Spitter, uh, and uh, Lil Penny Parker. I know everybody's uh, been clamoring for that, so that might be what's next up. Taking a height measurement of Spider Man Noir, and uh, I uh, put on his uh hatless head sculpt to get a more accurate measurement so looking at that to the top of his head he's standing about six and a half inches tall and as for spider ham I, nah, I'm not even going to bother with that one you can't be serious I guess it bears mentioning that uh, spider ham isn't really a statue I'd forgotten from the other one he does have head articulation so uh, I guess that means uh, Hasbro has been vindicated this is an action figure not so to sum it all up the Marvel Legends Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham <laughs> 2-pack is uh, 
Well, it's a mixed bag right now because, of course, let's start with Spider-Ham. Um, it's just a figurine. We got this exact same figurine as we had gotten before. They've just uh, brightened up the colors a bit, and that's about the size of it as far as Spider-Man Noir himself. Sorely lacking in the, uh, the accessories department only with his hand weapon and an additional hatless head sculpt. That's about it. Um, as far as the figure itself, though, very nice with the all black and uh, the textures to the uh, the the uh, removable the removable turtleneck piece and uh, his um, head sculpt uh, as well. Uh, the hat, there's textures all over the place uh, on the collar of the uh, trench coat, on the hat, on the um, the shoulders of the trench coat, the collar. It's all nice. The uh, caveat with the trench coat is that it is uh, molded in the flared out position. So even though that makes it uh, look great for dynamic posing and like the wind is just hitting his coat and blowing it up, um, it could be problematic for um, posing on yourself, especially if you're just a vanilla poser because uh, you see the way how I've got him posed now, it's not so bad. But if you're a vanilla poser, and have him straight, uh, standing straight up and down, he's going to take up the space of about three figures. So that may not be good. And we know uh, being in this collecting uh, hobby of ours, space is at a premium. So, um, yeah, so that's not, uh, that's not really all that good. But um, once again, it is what it is. And what it is, is time for us to get up out of here. But before we do, please... Go down below there and hit that like and uh, definitely uh, hit the subscribe button while you're down there and uh, share the video with others and definitely leave your comments, questions, concerns, critiques, the whole nine, whatever I'm here for them. And then, of course, if you want to be notified when I upload another video, hit that bell and you will be notified on behalf of Spider-Ham. Spider-Man Noir, and myself, The Ruckus. Remember, the hunt continues, and I'm out. Peace.